What's up everybody? It's Margo and I'm back with another video. Today we are doing the booktube newbie tag, which is, if you didn't know, the introduction to the booktube community. And I think this is going to be really great and it's kind of my way to say, hi, I am entering in this community and I hope I will be accepted. <laughs> Please accept me. This tag was originally created, to my knowledge, by Miss Emma Reads a lot, who was a newbie booktuber herself quite a bit not too long ago that has now become a sensation, or at least in my eyes. So yeah, I'm kind of following her lead on this and seeing maybe if doing the booktube newbie tag can kind of help you understand what type of reader I am and how I am as a nerd, I think, if that helps. Question number one, why did you start this channel? I started this channel both for practice with editing and because on YouTube, you can turn any passion or talent into a video. And I have always had this huge passion for reading as a kid. In fact, that's kind of the only thing I'm known for in my friend group, is being a bookworm and having the best recommendations and the only one who actually collects enough books that I can technically call it a home library. Question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? I plan to bring new tags, new bookish themed games or challenges that can be done with friends. If I had enough friends that read. But I'll drag <coughs> them into it anyway. I also plan to release the first episode of a series I will be releasing on my channel called Margot's Monthly Mentions, where I will bring in three books from the end of the month that I think were worth mentioning that are basically my highlights of that month that I really enjoyed and I think everybody else would, wouldn't mind reading. Question number three. What are you most excited about for this new channel? I'm excited to receive criticism because I believe everybody can improve. There's always room for improvement. And I know right now, <laughs> videos like these aren't really the best. But then again, I am an amateur and I am new at this, but I think I'm at least, I could be worse. That's what I'm saying. I could be worse, but you know, I think the whole excitement part is just the feedback getting to see what people think of something you've made and have spent time trying to create. I think that's really the whole, that's the most, that's the focal point of YouTube for me at least. As a, as a long time viewer, I've been watching YouTube ever since I was a kid, ever since I got the chance to use the internet. It just, it's, it's just a great platform and I've always wanted to be a part of it, but I've always been scared to enter it until recently. Question number four, why do you love reading? I love reading because it provides both an escape from reality and a source of fun when you really can't find fun anywhere else. And books have kind of just always been there for me. I didn't have a lot of friends as a kid and... <laughs> and books were kind of always there when I didn't have any friends to be with or any people to talk to. And I would often visualize the characters in front of me and have conversations with them. They were my friends. They cared enough about me to be in the room. And books are still kind of like that, ex except I get to forget about real world problems and struggles with life and I can just be somebody else for a minute. It helps a lot with learning new words, phrases, and reading books can help you develop your style as a writer. You can become more lyrical, know how to use detail, and overall books just give you the chance to escape through imagination. Books have always been a form of escapism for me, and ever since I was a kid I always just found it easier to deal with the world by just getting lost in a few pages for a little while. Books take you places that you could probably never even imagine going without even moving from your room. They're magic. And I think they hold the greatest source of joy for me. I think I would be a very different person if I didn't read. They help me develop my imagination and to become a better writer. I have a very somber feeling, and a lot of nostalgia comes back for me, comes back for me when it comes to books. They're just my favorite thing in the world. 
as cheesy as that sounds. Question number five, what book series got you into reading? I actually took my, I actually took them down from my bookshelf specifically for this question. And, oh, by the way, the reason why I'm recording in front of my closet is because I can't record in front of my bookshelves. In the channel trailer you saw, the stool. In the channel tra trailer you saw me standing in front of a small shelf of books with maybe, I want to say, 15 or so. That's just my contemporary shelf. The, my, all of my other books are above my head. The book series that got me into reading was the Snow Like Ashes trilogy. It is my favorite series of all time. If you know Jesse the Reader, and you know how he will constantly talk about Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, I'm the exact same way, but with these bad boys. I... It was my first real, real YA series, and I just, I fell in love with the idea of Primoria and this world where seasons were all split up, but there was also an equal balance of normal season places, and the idea of Mira just wanting to help her cause and find her way back to winter was just an amazing thing to me. And can we just talk about the cover? It is to this day my favorite book series because it has my favorite cover. I love the whole chakra season thing and I love the embossment. Like I have a thing about authors who use the same font <laughs> for the title and the author name because it usually never works. It usually looks tacky and plain. But this is seamless. Like for me this is top tier one of my favorite covers. And if you've never read this series before, in order it goes Snow Like Ashes, Ice Like Fire, Frost Like Night. All of these are by Sarah Rosh, and um, yes, before you even say it, yes, I am very, 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 very excited for Sarah Rosh's book, These Rebel, for Sarah Rosh's new release, These Rebel Waves. I have not read it, I have not purchased it yet, I am planning to though, because I mean, pirates. Gay pirates. Can we just... That needs to get more support. Gay pirates. Just... Yes. Yes. Number six, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? Oh, ooh, there are so many because I have so many favorite booktubers. I would ask Chris I would ask Christine Riccio mainly tips on writing and on booktube. I would probably ask her how do you get through the lack of motiv how do you get through lack of motivation when it comes to writing and writer's block as a whole, and two, can I please have an advanced reader copy of Again But Better, because I want to get on that, and I really, really, really want to read and review that so badly. <laughs> uh, I just love it. I would probably ask Tashopolis, how does she deal with meeting <laughs> celebrities in public? How do you deal with that? I'd probably ask Jesse the Reader how just how with your book collections I how really how how do you collect so much and not go bankrupt how I need I need to learn from the master of bookshelves oh I'd also ask Caddy Tastic any tips for getting a tattoo because I really like yours, and I always wanted tattoos, I just don't know how to go about it. Question number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? Personally, I think it's consistency. Because right now it's summer and I can kind of record and edit whenever I want, however I want, for as long as I want. But the second I get into school, that's going to be hard to keep up with. Because see, okay, I'm... Next, this upcoming school year in 2019, I'm going to be a freshman in high school, and that is going to be terrifying as it is. 
and then I'm going to have to go through like freshman orientation, I'm going to get used to classes, lockers, everything, because I've never had a locker before, middle school does not have lockers down here, middle schools don't have lockers down here, but it's going to be a strange adjust adjustment, and then again, I'm also currently writing, and then I do graphic design, it's consistency with videos like after summer ends it's going to be harder for me to record and upload stuff i might have to keep that to purely on the weekends so it, i might just end up like recording saturday night and editing saturday morning and then it'll pro I, pr I, pr I might i might do videos weekly on saturday nights because that's probably the only time i'm going to have to be able to do it question number eight when did you start reading yeah i've been reading basically forever, as long as I've been alive at least, so. So yeah, nearly 15 years of reading. Question number nine, where do you read? Here at home, I mostly read in bed or on the floor. <laughs> Question number 10, what type of books do you like to read? I mainly read fiction, realistic fiction, stuff like contemporaries, but if I'm just going to go off of my bookshelf here, I read quite a bit of fantasy, like urban fantasy and dark fantasy novels, stuff like the Grisha Trilogy by Le stuff like Leigh Bardugo's work, Marissa Meyer, sci-fi retelling, sci-fi and fantasy together are so fantastic, it's so beautiful. And I don't really know how to describe them, but everything that kind of fits with Red Queen, Six of Crows, Three Dark Crowns. Magonia, the Lunar Chronicle series, I'm trying to get gauge my shelf here. Veronica Roth, Tahari Mafi, Thousandth Floor, which is also sci-fi. So like sci-fi and dark fantasy. Stuff with really gritting, like really gritty plots. Like, like ooh. Ooh, kind of like like the entire like you know the feeling you get when you read Six of Crows, every type of every book that gives you that sort of oh yes this is going to be beautiful, that feeling you know when you feel like a maniacal genius. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like on this video and comment down below if you have any thoughts to add. Without further ado, let's flip the page on this video and I will see you on the next chapter. Ciao.